Uh, perfect. Asante sana my sister Anet pale na wimbo mtamu sana pale one on one. Hata wale wanatua na kule upande wa YouTube live. Thank you very much. God bless you. Asante sana. Mimi naitwa Jeremy Damares. Na leo tunasemanga ni Inspiration Thursday. If you are watching me live from uh, YouTube channel yetu ya Kenya Diaspora Media, karibu sana and uh, it's a very good morning. Na leo nimesema hakuna mambo mengi. Sasa tumemaliza Easter. We are back to new life. I know many give life to Jesus Christ. Na kama bado hujapeana maisha yako kwa Jesus Christ, we still have that opportunity. And of course for quite some times nimekuwa nikipigua simu na pia wachungaji wamekuwa kipigua simu wanaulizwa eh hey, mimi bwana nafanya kazi siendelei Nime, nimekuwa milionea bado niko tu pale e, nikijenga nyumba na nyaganywa yani nikifanya mambo mingi nikasema hii mambo ni lazima nitaleta mtumishi wa Mungu ndio tuweze kuongea na yeye na ndio tujue why is this happening maudhuma mara hanika niki na hihi no gukorolege a spiritual authority eh, no hote gututaithia muno gutauko maudu maya nigetha gikora we part of the game kana we we part ya detoyo iria kora we kia mukirwo ni andu aige then we can be able to talk to our pastor here na hote gututaithia muno makiria na ni uraki menya wega muno your guess is good as mine at mudanya muthe tu na mutugateri ogwetwa apostle sami na apostle sami akoro kuria mwena wa kenya na well ni dramenya e haha gwe hopu ni turaigua na wega riu apostle Uh, ni tuwa kotogie tuwa ni mitabu waka hida karaihu muno na But this time round I'm hoping ni tuwa igua na wega muno na we Aposto, kuha natea? Kuthi na kauru mudo waga iye Yes, karibu sana Ndaye nego shwa kira ajugwe Good morning to the people from diaspora Asante sana, gaine muwega Kukwa nyo nidame ya ni madha ma evening yogu Andero na ni madha ma ke huwaini huwaini yogu Asante sana ni kutikira guka Na gaine kitu wakani ya tambura Mm -hmm. We have been have experiencing a rain season for three days right now, and we thank God. Wow, that's good. Na joke geho ya do itumu hera because of shida za mitambo, lakini mungu wa metusaidia better late than never. Exactly, we thank God. Otherwise, karibu sana, and of course, before tuanza mambo mingi, I'll just give you the opportunity di ofungwe na neno la maombi, then from there, utaniambia which direction to go, and of course, I know we are going to be blessed. Karibu sana, mchungaji. Thank you so much. Let us wacha tuanza na neno la maombi. Bwana ni asante katika jina la mwana wa Yesu Kristo. Asante kwa sababu ya wale wanatutazama wakiwa mbali na walio karibu, wale wanatutazama katika mitambo ya Kenya na mitambo ya diaspora, hata wale ambao watakuja baadaye. Lakini Bwana naomba ya kwamba that your word will prevail. Neno lako litapata mizizi ndani ya mioyo yetu na kutoka hapo Bwana let your word change us. Wacha neno lako litubadilishe. Wacha neno lako lituponye, wacha neno lako lituinue, wacha neno lako litu encourage in every way. We open our heart to the move of the Holy Spirit and Lord we connect our server into the harmony of your power and it is in Jesus name we pray and we thanks. Amen, amen. Majina angu na hitu wa Puto Sami Kairu na ubiri hapa Kenya upande wa Rungai na pia wale tumepatana nanyi. Sija kuwa mgeni kwenyu sana maana tumekuwa na nyika katika mitambo ya KDM na tumekuwa pamoja na mtumishi wa Mungu hawa CEO Jeremy Damaris na zile kazi mmekuwa mkifanya partners wetu wote mimi napendanga roho ya kushika partners wetu wote wale ambao ni KDM you can never push this vision forward you remain what once you push a go once you push a vision of God your life moves forward na ndiyo maana leo nimekuja tuongee pamoja na nyinyi tujifunze mambo mawili matatu tukitoka hapo tutaomba na wewe na utajua jinsi ya kupata muujiza wako. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much Apostle. Nashukuru sana. Na of course naona watu wanaendelea kuingia hapa. Thank you kwa mitambo. Naona niko na Elder Jimna, niko na Mdhoni wa St. Louis, niko na Cecilia Waithera, niko na Soso Winnie. Na wale bado wako kule upande mm -hmm. wa YouTube naona wanazidi kuingia thank you Gladys Maina karibu sana Joselish Asante sana Grace Gatia thank you Francis Chege pia kwa hapa Rehab Jose Asante sana mm -hmm. Mwangi thank you very much uh, Lelanto Jana thank you very much unasema uko le Sodo Moses Musa Asante sana karibuni sana na well tutakuwa tukiendelea kuongea na mchungaji well ninajua watu wengi sana diaspora na kama sio wewe pia mimi wameweza kunifikia unakuta mtu wako na Uh, shida sana the spirit of stagnation and rejection watu wengi sana wananiambia mtu alianza kurejectiwa akiwa mtoto mdogo hata saa zingine naona kama watu hawaelewi what is rejection na yani hii case hizi visa zimekuwa mingi sana mpaka nikasema ai 
lazima nikuleta hapa mtumishi ndio utueleze hapo rejection ni nini mtu ajue ama yeye ako rejected ama bado yeye ako ni tu maroho tu kidogo kidogo na pia hii roho ya stagnation unakuta mtu huku anafanya kazi uh, kazi masa 24 lakini ma, nini matunda ni zero yani hakuna mtu anasomesha watoto wanafika university alafu unakuta tu wale watoto wamerudi kuwa chokora yani walevi hawajiwezi wako tu pale useless so kama wewe mtumishi wa Mungu ningetaka tu tuonge utupeleke kwa hiyo direction utueleze hizi ni nini na pia Mungu akusaidie karibu sana mtumishi amen asante sana mwanzo ningependa neno la Mungu linapokuja kwako Neno la Mungu linakujanga kukupatia direction. Maandiko inasema you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Sasa usipojua ukweli wa mambo maisha yako haitawaiendelea. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Ningependa muelewe ni ya kwamba stagnation na rejection is not of God. A rejection ni kukataliwa, ni kukataliwa. Na rejection akunanga kuna dawa ya homa na hata kuko na vaccine ya corona kuna dawa ya homa kuna dawa ya malaria lakini akunanga dawa ya rejection na rejection ni spirit ambayo inakaanga ndani ya mtu na utajua kama uko na rejection kulingana na venye people will be treating you ama jinsi ambavyo watu watakuwa wanaandamana pamoja na wewe the opposite of rejection is favor the opposite of rejection is favor na most of the time rejection inaanzanga na mtu akiwa mdogo number one, rejection inaanza inaweza kuanza na wewe wakati your mother conceived you maybe baba yako alikukata ama mama yako alikukata baba yako akakana hiyo mimba ama mama yako akakuita akakufanya wewe kuwa nooks the very good example ni maisha ya mtu ambaye jabezu maandiko inasema jabezu ye mwenyewe mama yake alimuita jabezu The word Jabez means pain. Kwa hivyo mama yake wakati alishika hii mimba, hii mimba ilimletea pain, ilimletea shame ndani yake. Akamuita Jabezu. So the spirit of rejection inaweza ikaingia mtoto akiwa mdogo, mtoto akiwa mdogo. The same way favor ya Mungu huanza na mtu akiwa mdogo. Maandiko inasema and Jesus grew having favor with God and with men. Sasa rejection ina, ina, it, inazanga kukoma. It begins to grow inside of you. Angalia rejection mtoto akiwa mtoto akiwa mdogo wakati anaingia shule hakuna mtoto wa kucheza na yeye. Hakuna mtoto wa kucheza na yeye. Watoto wengine wanakuchukia to that compound. Nobody want to be involved with you because already uko na rejection. Ukiwa mtoto unajikuta unakaa peke yako hauna rafiki hata wakati watu watoto wengine walikuwa wanaenda trip hauku hata na na ile comrade comrade hauna hata saa kuna mtu nikimuuliza marafiki wake ni wagani hana hata rafiki anakanga tu maisha ya kukaa peke yake maana nobody likes you and nobody is attracted to you that is rejection hata ukienda America America ni mahali watu diaspora ni mahali watu wana socialize watu wanakuwa na hizo groups za mawasap kushikanilia nobody is there with you rejection ni roho ambayo inasababishanga mtu anakataliwa na mtu akikataliwa kumbuka kule kwetu wanasemanga uh, riches are with the people mali inakuanga na watu unakuta hata wakati wa, wa magonjwa nobody comes around you hata wakati mko na mazishi hakuna mtu anakusaidia hata ukiweka committee hakuna mtu anakuja ukifanya whatsapp group people wana left hapo hapo na unakuta sio kwamba umewahi kosi ya mtu haujawahi ibi ya mtu but people have a tendency of not accepting you of not accepting you of not accepting you hiyo ndio inakuanga rejection now rejection ndio inazanga stagnation 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 ni roho ya kukaa mahali pamoja stagnation ni roho ya kupiga maraunda about round about you don't have any progress na wacha nikwambie watumishi wa Mungu mnao nitazama god created you to move forward hata wakati your mother conceived you alisema ako na mimba ya mwezi moja ikaenda miezi mbili ikaenda miezi tatu ikaenda miezi nne ikafika paka miezi tisa ukakuja duniani so in your mother's womb 
haukufanyika kuwa stagnation tusahau na hiyo yote unaona dunia mahali unakaa tulisoma tukaambio the earth rotates hata sasa hapa nimekaa dunia bado inazunguka ndio maana tuko na masaa saa moja, saa mbili, usiku mchana jioni so stagnation ni roho ya kutokuwa na maendeleo na stagnation ni roho ambayo inakukripo inakuweka mahali pamoja inakuweka mahali pamoja unatafuta na hakuna kitu unapata unajaribu kujenga nyumba inasimama unajaribu kuolewa unaingia katika dating unaingia kwenye dating ukiingia kwenye dating unakuta tu you are not moving watu lika yako wameolewa watu lika yangu wana watoto lakini unakuta maisha imekwama maisha imekwama maisha imekwama and when there is stagnation there is a lot of frustration so rejection na stagnation it is a spirit that has no cure unless it is in god rejection maandiko inasema in the book of Isaiah 53 ati Yesu aliibeba aibu yetu na masikitiko Yesu aliibeba whenever there is stagnation there is shame there is shame there is shame there is shame wakati watu hawana maendeleo there is shame maandiko inasema aliibeba masikitiko aliibeba aibu yetu alituondolea kukaa mahali pamoja ndio maana Mungu amekupatia siku saba amekupatia 30 days amekupatia 12 month after 12 month your life begin to move so we want we deal na spirit ya stagnation na rejection zile vitu vimesimama tunataka kuona maendeleo stagnation dinasababisha you join other people in class ya kwamba kuna watu sasa kuna watu wanasema tomorrow i will become kesho nitafanya kesho nitafanya. kuna watu walisema the year 22 nitabadilika sasa tuko the year 2022 na bado hujabadilika stagnation na rejection rejection inasababisha paka mtu ajinyonge inasababisha mtu ajinyonge rejection inasababisha mtu akunywe dawa rejection inasababisha mtu a developer bitterness with other people maana rejection sio hata sio hata tu physically Rejection inasababisha hata ukienda kwa kanisa no but even the pastor does not want to be involved with you ukienda kwa choir choir master ataki kuwa connected na rejection unapewa kazi leo after one week unafutwa bila sababu unafutwa bila sababu rejection mtu anakuahidi kitu anasema aoni haja kukusaidia ni the spirit of rejection rejection inasababisha paka unakataliwa na na, na, na na utajiri na utajiri kuna watu leo wakianza biashara inawakata kuna mtu akianza ku, kuna mtu leo akianza kuuza nyanya hiyo nyanya itaza ikuje avocado ikuje cabbage ikuje vitungu lakini wengine hata ukianza nyanya nyanya zako zitaozea hapo uko na the spirit of rejection na the spirit of rejection inasababisha mtu aji asijione udhamana asijione udhamana asijione udhamana na sasa the spirit of rejection na stagnation inaletanga kitu na kitanga the spirit of struggle roho ya kungangana roho ya kungangana roho ya kungangana na nao nataka nikuombe watumishi wa Bwana if you are struggling in one way or another i declare your time of freedom has come your time of freedom has come your time of freedom has come there is a certain lady aliniambia ako America imagine anakosanga barabara na gari ni yake akiweka google barabara tu anapotea sasa unaona na amenunua gari ya kwenda kazi lakini unless a drive iwe hana hiyo capability ya barabara huyo sasa anakataliwa na mali so we want to know the root cause utajua ukweli ukweli utakuweka huru sasa hii mikono yako haitakataliwa na pesa haitakataliwa na pesa na utakaa kwa kazi moja miaka yote maandiko inasema we go from one glory to another glory hata miaka yetu inasonga the more miaka yetu inasonga tunahitaji kuwa kuonyeshana maendeleo maendeleo ndio tunahitaji so rejection na stagnation zinakaanga ndani ya mtu zinakaanga ndani ya mtu zinakaanga ndani ya mtu na na wakati uko na rejection na stagnation kuna watu wanajuanga wanasema 
kwani ni nini kiliendelea na huyu mtu waendelea yangi kwa nini tangu wasafiri kwa nini tangu wanza biashara hii kwa nini tafanya hivi ikui kwa sababu kuna stagnation lakini leo nimekwambia there is disconnection reconnection that my mess nataka mshike leo nakuja kukuseparate i'm coming to separate you i'm coming to separate you i am coming to separate you nakuja kukutoa nakuja kukutenganisha na ile roho iliyo kukamata na kuja leo kusema enough is enough enough is enough enough is enough enough is enough katika nyumba zetu tume katika jamii kule tumetoka we refuse to live in one place we want to move tunataka leo tuje tukimaliza kujenga hii tuendelee hii wengine ukianza kujenga kitu lazima katika ukianza mradi unavuta kazi Ukia, una, ukianza muradi fulani amekufa ukianza muradi mwingine amefanya nini nyumbani sasa unakuwa unazungukanga round about za maisha round about za maisha round about za maisha unakuwa you struggle so much you struggle and once you begin to struggle after the glory of god in you cannot be seen leo tumekataa roho ya kukama hali pamoja tumekataa 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 kwenda kwa ofisi moja every now and then every now and then every now and then every now and then na hakuna approval kuna watu wameapply biashara za makazi kuna watu wameapply license kuna watu wameapply li- kuna watu wameapply green card kuna watu wameapply registrations za nyumba za kuna watu wameapply title deeds kuna watu wameapply visa lakini wengine wanapata wewe unaacho wengine muliapply the same business with them business license zao zilitoka yako bado unaambiwa tutakuja tuangalia approval tuangalie tuangalie approval panakuwa na stagnation roho ya, kuku, ya kukama hali pamoja leo nasema no more stagnation wacha nikwambie kitu kimoja mpendo na uelewe maji the stagnant water it is always stinks maji inaokama hali pamoja huwa inanuka huwa ina huwa, huwa ina bad smell na maji inayokaa mahali pamoja huwa inalea wadudu kama viura mosquito it stinks maji ya kukaa mahali pamoja it doesn't bring any good animal ina inaleta umbu inaleta tu viura na tunyoka na tu, tu inaleta takataka nyingi hapo stagnation stagnation stagnations stagnation stagnation when you become stagnant in life ukikuwa stagnant in life your life does not have favor nani anaweza pena kukaa mahali pako na viura nani anaweza pena kukaa mahali pako na pako na eh, pako na mosquito sasa we want to deal with that na ndio maana nilete backup ya maandiko in the book of Ezekiel ndio uangalie unahitaji disconnection ya hizi vitu maana nimekwambia stagnation mtu anatokanga nayo kwao na nasemanga hivi a lizard in africa can never become a crocodile in america but favor but favor favor is a game changer favor is a game changer kuna watu hata leo wakigonjeka wanakufia hospitali hakuna mtu akwenda kuwaona kuna watu hata ukisikia watu wakisikia kuna msiba hawakuji kwenye maandiko inasema in the book of Ezekiel chapter 16 chapter 16 verse number 4 maandiko inasema as for your nativity the day you were born your number code was not cut katika siku za kuzaliwa kwako your umbilical cord mkonyo wako unajua the umbilical cord ndiye inafidingi mto, mtoto kutoka kwa mama na kwa umbilical cord kitovu kitovu ndicho kinapeanga mtoto chakula ndani ya tumbo kwa hivyo mama akikula kahawa mtoto anakunywa kahawa mama akikula ugali mtoto anakula ugali sasa ndio maana mtoto akizaliwa kitu cha kwanza anaseparatiwa 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 anasema on the day of your nativity on the day you were born you are never was not cut no were you washed in water to cleanse you you were not rubbed with salt not wrapped in a swaddling cloth 
no I pitied you. No, no. No, I pitied you. When rejection and stagnation is operating, nobody will ever love you. Kwa mana, how just separate you? How just separate? How just tenganishu? Kwa hivo, the village spirits are still fighting you. Niposo nakuta, kuna watu bado, kuna watu wakitoka hapa, zile maroza za village zinawapata kwenye wanaenda. Unakuta kuna mtu wameacha pombe, lakini bado anarudiria pombe. Kuna mtu wameacha sigara, bado anarudiria anasa za dunia. Mana aja kuwa separate. So stagnation, narration, ya kutenganisho nazo. You are supposed to be separated. Uambie mungu, nimekataa kukataliwa na maji. Nimekataa kukataliwa na pesa. Nimekataa kukataliwa na watu. Nimekataa, I refuse. Nimekataa kuka mahali pamoja. Maandiku inasema, mm -hmm. Verse number six. And when I pass by you and saw you struggling, wakati nilipitia karibu na wewe, nikaona ukiwa unanganganda. Wakati nilipita karibu na wewe. Kuna watu sasa munapita kwa, kwa, kwa KDM na munanganganda. Munanganganda tu. Kuna mtu sasa ananisikiza. Kuna mtu anatutazama na shido. Kwa ni nani ya niroga? When I pass by you and saw you struggling in your own blood, katika dani ya damu yako, maandiko inasema, I say to your blood, live. Yes, yeah, say to you, blood live. Nikasema usingangane tena. So, we are breaking. We are disconnecting. Leo kuna, I'm disconnecting you totally. Nataka ushika ili na this to reconnection. Disconnection to reconnection. Ninajita, natenganishu. Natenganishu. Najitenganisha. Najitenganisha. Na maroza watu walio kufa. Najitenganisha. Na maro ambazo zilisababisha watu wetu wasisome. I disconnect my children from the forces that made me not to grow well. I disconnect myself. Na jitenganisha. Ni death hitho kania. Ni death hitho kania. Ata wea ambaye ni mugonjwa. Uko na kansa. Uko na nini. Na kutenganisha na maro za madeni. Na kutenganisha na maro za backwardness. Na kutenganisha na maroza kukama hali pamoja Mana kuna watu wa mungu wanangangana Children of God are struggling Watu wa mungu munangangana Wale mulie Kenya munangangana Wale diaspora munangangana Wale mulie Gafu munangangana Wale mulie Europe munangangana Wale mulie Australia munangangana Leo nasema I disconnect you from the spirit of rejection and stagnation Rejection and stagnation and my prayer for you, who mwak hau taisha, without you having an achievement. Kuna watu waliandiko na mshara moja. Kuna watu waliandiko na dola kumi. Azipandangi ni kupungua tu. Unatoka kazi ya dola, unatoka kazi ya dola kumi, unena kwa kazi ya dola tisa. Na wengine maisha hao inaendelea. I want to declare, you are, you are moving forward. You are moving forward. No more stagnation. No more rejection. No more rejection. Tumekataku kataliwa. Kuna watu wana fight skin disease. Kuna watu wana fight. Wana, wana pigo na climate. Ati naaribikiwa na climate. That is rejection. Ati naaribikiwa na maji. That is rejection. Ati naaribikiwa na kuku. That is rejection. Tumbo yako haita kata nyama. Tumbo yako haita kata. Tumbo yako haita kata. Kwanzia leo, no more rejection. Whatever has been following you. Chochote kimekuwa kikufuata tangu kuzaliwa kwako. Since the day you are born. Since the day you are named. Tangire si kulizaliwa. Kile kimekuwa kikufuata. Leo nimekutenganisha nacho. Roa ya madeni imekufuata. Nimekutenganisha nayo. Roa ya magonjo imekufuata. Nimekutenganisha nayo. Roa ya suicide imekuwa kikufuata. Nimekutenganisha nayo. I declare disconnection to the connection. Disconnection to reconnection. Nimekwambia, the opposite of rejection is favor. And the opposite of favor is rejection. So today, I disconnect you from rejection and I connect you to favor. Kibali tu. Kuna mtu wa mebeba baraka yako. Somebody is calling your blessings. Somebody has your connection. Kuna mtu wako na kazi yako. Lakini wanakuonanga tu wanakuchukia. Wanakuchukia bila sababu. Unakangu umejifungia. Hata hiyo simi yako inaweza ikakaa wande bila mtu kukupigia. Mana nobody want to be involved with you. Maandiko inasema no one pitted you. No one took interest with you. Nobody is to you. 
nobody recognized you rejection inafanyanga kazi hata kwa wachungaji unakuta mchungaji ana kanisa na ipatangi watu kumbe mtu anakataliwa tu na watu hivyo nobody want to be involved with you no one wa- nobody want to listen you nobody want to see you nobody want to see your picture but by today by the power of god kupitia nguvu za you know we are still in easter resurrection week i declare today mnatenganishwa na kile kimekuwa kiwafuata sasa maisha yako itaanza kusonga mbele itaanza kusoma kusonga mbele stagnation ya masomo kuna mtu ameishi akianguka mtiani mnaanguka mitiani kila wakati mnaanguka mitiani ukifanya mtiani unaanguka ukifanya mtiani unaanguka ukifanya mtiani unaanguka yani kazi yako ni kupiga roundabout za maisha hiyo tumekata no more stagnation no more stagnation no more stagnation unafanya mtiani unaanguka unafanya mtiani unaanguka Unajaribu hii hakuna kinaendelea. Unapanda mahindi na kauka. Una, 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 unaanza, una, unaanza, unaanza kazi ya trucks. U, you begin unaanza kazi za trucks. Trucks zako zote zinaharibika. Unarudi pale point zero. Unaanza kazi ya kudispatch. Ukifika pale inakuwa cancelled. Yaani unarejectiwa tu, unarejectiwa. Ukienda ku apply loan unarejectiwa. Yani credential zako haziendelee. So today we are dealing with the spirit of rejection and stagnation. Watoto wako wamejaribu vitu ngapi? Watoto wako wamejaribu vitu ngapi? Watoto wako wameapply high learnings mara ngapi? Umeapply kazi mara ngapi? Umeapply bursary miaka ngapi? Umeapply nini na hakuna kinaenda. So maandiko inasema and when I pass by and saw you struggling in your own blood. I saw you struggling in your own blood. I saw you struggling in your own blood. Nikakupata ukingangana kwa damu yako wewe mwenyewe. Nikapata ukingangana. Kuanzia leo kataa kungangana. Kataa. 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 Mungu ana mapendeleo. Mungu ana mapendeleo. Mungu ana mapendeleo. Hata kwenu kunaweza kukiendesha gari. Hata kwenu mnaweza mkakaa nyumba mzuri. Hata kwenu mnaweza mkasomwa na mmalize. Hata kwenu mnaweza mkaolewa. Hata kwenu mnaweza mkapata watoto. Hata wale kuna watu ambao wako na rejection ya health. Unasikia ti ya yeah, ananga afi anashinanga amebeba madawa hivi. Yaani amekataliwa na afya. Amekataliwa na afya. Amekataliwa na afya. Hakuna dawa ya kunywa. Kuna nyumba ukienda unakuta ni kama pharmacy. Madawa zimejaa. Huyu amegonjeka hii. Yaani umekatali hata kuna watu ambao ndani yao they are rejected by peace they don't know peace they don't know peace kazi yako you just land into bad people i want to declare you will not attract bad people again you will not attract bad people again by the power of god by the anointing of god tumetangaza tumesema hakuna kungangana tumekataa kungangana tumekataa kungangana tumekataa 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 aibu Nimekwambia stagnation inasababishanga aibu inakuja. Aibu inakuja. Maana ulipromise ulishi kuambia watu next year nitafanya. Next year nitafanya. Ke next year nitajenga paka sasa uongeangi until people have called you liar because stagnation there's no mobility, there's no movement. So you begin to attract shame. Na aibu ni kitu kibaya sana. Aibu kin, aibu ni kitu mbaya sana. Today we want to declare in the mighty name of Jesus Watu mnao tutusikiza na mnao tutazama it is your season. Ni masaa yako ya kuinuliwa ni Bwana. Ni masaa yako ya kubarikiwa. I disconnect you. Nataka tu nikutenganishe. 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 I want to disconnect you. I want to separate you. Nataka I want to separate you. Nataka nikutenganishe. I want to separate you hali pamoja na roho ya kutokuwa na maendeleo laana cases ambazo zimesababisha maana kuna watu waliambiwa wataolewa kuna watu waliambiwa watu waifanikiwa wakalaaniwa your life has been stagnant kwa sababu kuna mtu alisema hakuna mahali utaenda hakuna mahali utaenda and because of that because of those spoken words they affected your life and today your life is stagnant 
maana shosho yako alisema huka yako alisema anko yako alisema anti yako alisema because of those spoken words you are alive today is in stagnant leo tunasema we nullify every word neno lolote ambalo lilizungumzo likasababisha maisha yako ikae mahali pamoja we withdraw we withdraw tumekataa tumekataa hiyo kukaa hapo tumekataa kama laana ilikuja ikasababisha maisha yenu iko tumekataa kama kuna kitu kibaya mulifanya kama kuna kitu kibaya mulifanya ika attract rejection maana nakwambia stagna stagnation and rejection stays inside of people inakaa ndani ya watu na inaweza ikakaa kwa nyumba unaona iko na mtoto mmoja wengine watu wamefanikiwa huyu hana kitu na niposa unakuta hata nyumbani kwenu brothers za baba yako wengine wamefanikiwa maybe baba yako ndiye anakanga tu pale maisha ya, ya kusaidiwa maybe mama yako madada zake ni watu wakubwa nyinyi kwenu hakuna kitu mko nayo maana ina, ina operate ina operate in sequence but today we have power and authority the blood of struggling the blood of stagnation and rejection tumeikata na tumesema it is your season of favor kama watu wanaongea vitu vinatendeka sisi tunaongeanga baraka mumeona ile kazi nime uh, KDM wamekuwa kufanya na Jeremy those people kuangalia is just rejection and stagnation sio kwamba hawana watu wao wako na watu wao but their people have rejected them have people have rejected them kuna watu ambao they have ability to help you but because of the spirit of rejection inside of you inside of you kama venye nisema unakataliwa paka na mchanga unakataliwa na mchanga unakataliwa na mchanga wenyewe mchanga unakukataa mchanga unakukataa ukiweka kuku zinakufa ukiweka ngombe ya maziwa inakufa ukipanda mahindi inakauka kwa shamba unakuta umekataliwa paka na wanyama mahiyo maga kolega mahiyo wanyama wanakukataa ngombe ukitoa kwa jirani iki, ikikuja kwako maziwa inakataa kutoka mbuzi hakuna unaenda kwa boma unakuta this home it has no life na ukienda kwa jirani kuku zinatega kutega ngombe zinazana lakini kwako there is no life the spirit of rejection is at work is at work is at work is at work mtoto wako unampeleka unamtafutia the best schools best teachers watoto wanasoma lakini masomo haingi rejection rejection stays inside of life instead of the life of people angalia mtu ambaye anaitwa Daudi ndio nimalize Daudi anasema rejection hata inatoka kwa wazazi Daudi anasema Daudi anamuomba Mungu anasema Psalms 27 Napenda sana Daudi. Anasema huyu sasa ni Daudi anaongea. Anasema Psalms 27 verse number 8. Uh, anasema uh, Here ha. Uh, anasema Mhm. Uh, verse number 10, Psalms 27 verse number 10. Daudi anasema when my mother and my father forsake me wakati baba yangu na mama yangu atanikata wakati baba yangu na mama yangu atanikata kuna watu ninaongea saa hizi their parents hate them wazazi wako wanakuchukia passionately na pia kuna wazazi naongea nao watoto wao wamewachukia with passion is the spirit of rejection Daudi anasema when my father and my mother forsake me then the lord will take care of me how does god take care of you by giving you favor by eliminating stagnation and rejection Huyu sasa ni Daudi anasema. Huyu ni Daudi anasema. 
baba yangu na mama yangu wakinyacha bwana atanichukua nataka mfight rejection na stagnation hakutakuwa na maendeleo kama utakaa mahali pamoja nimekwambia your life you are still glowing everything you do it still happening other people are moving you are left behind is the time to ask god bwana nipatie nguvu za kuendelea niondolee roho ya kubaki nyuma niondolee roho ya kubaki nyuma hauwezi ukakwenda kwa kazi when people are taking tea together you are just alone on the table rejection kukipatika wakitafuta nani watafuta kazi ni hu 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 nani nani tunaenda kutoa kwa kazi nani tunafuta leo wewe unapatikana ukiwa hapo rejection na stagnation zinatokanga nyumbani za vitu ambavyo watu wenyu walifanya ukakataliwa na watu mama yako akasema baba yako akasema watu wenyu wakasema sasa maana wako na they are figures of authority they are ruling yourself hata kuna wengine walimu wao waliwaambia mwalimu wako alikwambia wewe uwezi uwezi ukakuwa kitu till today nothing has ever happened in your life we have come to we, we have come to disconnect as we reconnect ninakutenganisha ninakutenganisha god is changing your season majira yako inabadilika stagnation ile ime, kuna watu wameko stagnation chini kwanza kuna kitu ningependa watu wa diaspora waombe sana the spirit of drugs the spirit of gambling ambayo ime imesababisha our children to have stagnation watoto hawasomi ni drugs unakuta mlikuwa na pesa mkakunywa zote zikaisha mlikuwa na mashamba mkakunywa pesa ya mashamba ikaisha today you live in rental stagnation because of drugs stagnation because of drugs alcoholism and the alcoholism fanya kazi huko mnatumia watoto huku pesa watoto wakishika pesa they have no life they have no progress sasa rehab ndio zimekuwa nyingi maana stagnation because of drugs of drugs addiction it has grounded people people's life cannot move but today i want to declare we fight against the spirit of stagnation and rejection mimi nasema hata usikataliwe na pesa usikataliwe na pesa oh usikataliwe na pesa wapendwa usikataliwe usikataliwe and as we pray we believe god maana maandiko yanasema kwa Mungu yote yawezekana jabezu akamlilia Mungu and he cried unto the god of israel and and the god of israel blessed him akaondolewa rejection akaondolewa pain what what do you have right now wewe unanitazama nimekwambia leo nakufanyia ibada ya separation ibada ya separation kuna watu hata sasa wako jela kwa sababu ya rejection ulikataliwa tu ukaonewa kwa sababu ya kuonewa kwako ukaingia ndani tu no hakuna mtu angekutetea hakuna mtu angekutetea hapakuwa mtu ama watu wengine hawangekutetea sasa rejection to deal nayo kutoka na ndani na utaijua tu ukijiangalia tu hivyo ukijiangalia hivyo unaona you feel that something is missing in your life daudi alijua ako nayo daudi alijua ako nayo na nasema rejection inafuatanga mtu paka kwa kaburi paka kwa kaburi unakuta mtu ameziko na watu kumi hakuna mtu alitoa mchango wake hakuna mtu alitoa mchango wake hakuna nikwambia hata leo tengeneza usabu utaona hata marafiki wako wa kileft leo ipata shida utaona we hakuna mtu wa kukusaidia hapo ndipo Daudi anasema msaada wangu unatoka kwa Bwana my help come from the lord 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 msaada wangu unatoka kutoka kwa Bwana sasa tuitishe Mungu msaada 
we ask the help of God because God is able Mungu anaweza hakuna jambo isiloezekana Mungu anaweza tuitishe msaada tumwambie Mungu tufanye jinsi ambavyo hatujawahi kuwa na tumwambie Mungu sasa hivyo kwa sababu nakwambia kama hatutafanya hivyo hii rejection itatufuata tu itakufuata na itafuata watoto wako itafuata itakufuata na itafuata watoto wako na itakanda ni yako na itakanda ni yako na itakanda itafuata watoto wako itakufuata kokote uendako hata kuna mtu you can get mad to a person who has rejection and you you attract that spirit ndio maana we pray for marriages ndio maana we pray for children ndio maana we dedicate children atazima shamba zingine mnanunua shamba iliachiwa laana isije ikanunuliwa isije ikanunuliwa watoto wakachukua wakanunua na wewe ukanunua ukaanza kujenga ukaja ukaanza kuchimba msingi ukakwama because it was not dedicated to god it was not dedicated to god hizi vitu zote unaziona zimebeba roho zimebeba roho hata kuna mtu akishika tu gari na haribika rejection rejection na letanga destruction kuna mtu tu hata ukimwandika kwa nyumba yako anaua sahani zote na sufuria na vijiko maana ana roho ya kukataliwa na kazi amebeba nukes ndani yake amebeba nukes ndani yake is a rejection lakini leo nimekuja alikataliwa ili sisi tukubalike alikataliwa ili sisi tukubalike Yesu alikataliwa Yesu alikataliwa ili sisi tukubalike so once we take Jesus inside of us once we take Jesus inside of us we begin to we begin to progress in life we begin tunaanza kuendelea alikataliwa ili sisi tukubalike so so i bring Jesus i bring Jesus i bring Jesus Jesus was born in a manger yeye katika uli la ngombe alikataliwa na maisha mazuri ili sisi tuishi maisha mazuri kama hujawahi jua hivyo. Kwa hivyo kubarikiwa ni, ni ya Mungu. Kubarikiwa ni mapenzi ya Mungu. Kubarikiwa ni mapenzi ya Mungu. Kubarikiwa it is the will of God. Ili barike. So una deal na rejection nayo kwa ku understand the root cause. The root cause. Ndio maana Yesu akasema kile mtakataa duniani hata binguni kitakataliwa. Ki, kile tutakataa hapa. Kile tutakataa. Kuna vitu za kukataa kuna vitu za kukataa kuna vitu za kukataa some things you are supposed to cancel them some things you are supposed to say a big no big no big no big no big no big no vitu zingine za kukataa unasema hii this is not my life hii si maisha yangu hii si maisha yangu hii si maisha yangu maisha yangu ni hii na hii this is my life hii ndiye maisha ambayo ninataka the life of favor the life of the, the life of lifting maisha ya kuinuliwa na maisha ya kusonga mbele kile mtakataa duniani kitakataliwa sakata rejection nimekuambia dalili za rejection na stagnation people can take you people can people can cause you to have stagnant life rejection you can get it from your family from people na wakati umekataliwa kwani hakuna mahali pengine pa kusonga na mbele. Okay Jeremy on the other side of studio. Wow. Thank you very much Apostle. Thank you very much. Unajua nili <coughs> Thank you very much Apostle. Unajua nilinyamaza kidogo kwanza tusikie uh, his teachings and uh, I'm very much uh, blessed this morning na ni gado mno and of course I can see we have people listening to you. And of course, other people are aware of the same problem. They are saying, yes, pastor, hizi mambo zimetusumbua sana. Hizi mambo zimetusumbua sana, zimetusukuma sana. Well, naona mtu anaitwa uh, uh tuanze pale grades minor. Thank you, Grace Gatia. Asante Francis Shege thank you. Mm-hmm. Gelato Jana, asante sana ukiwa pale upande wa Lesotho. Uh, Moses Musa, asante sana. Thank you very much. John Karori pia uko hapa na unasema asante sana Apostle. Uh, thank you very much. I've lost uh, your voice on the other side. You lost my voice. Huniski. Aya, utanisikia, utanisikia mimi na kusikia. Ah, uh, hope utanisikia. So Yeah. So nashukuru sana na of course 
Uh, tukiwa na aposto hapa kama uko na swali unaweza niuliza tunapoendelea kabla nimpe nafasi ya kuwaombea watu hapa thank you very much Jesus Family TV na waona hapa Susan Mwangi unasema i refuse uh, unasema i refuse the spirit of uh, stagnation in Jesus Christ mighty name asante sana Parinchia asante sana sala Mwangi thank you very much uh, Miriam Mweke Unasema, I rebuke the spirit of rejection in my life and my children in Jesus name including spirit of death asante sana Susan Mwangi thank you very very much asante sana alafu Palinshi thank you Christine Nyakairo I refuse poverty in my life in Jesus Christ asante sana Ruth Washo I refuse rejection in my life I refuse poverty Elizabeth Njoguna pia ina kuona sana. Salome wa Canada pia uko ndani ya mtambo. Thank you very much. Eh, Irene Wamboi Moraga, thank you very much. Unasema kule upande wa Lagesburg muko ndani ya mtambo. Shikuduo, thank you. Yes, this is true. Like for me rejection has been following me. What can I do? Huyo anauliza anaweza fanya namna gani? Irene Wamboi uh, Mura, mo, Morang, Moraga Thank you very much. David Gitata pia na shukuru na kuona hapa ndani ya mtambo. Thank you very much. Jenga Edwin asante sana. Ninaona nyinyi wote hapa. Sijui ama apostle unanisikia? Nasikia vizuri. Aya sawa. Kuna mtu hapa anauliza sasa ndio tumesikia hiyo mambo yote ya rejection. Wengine wanasema yes mimi nimekuwa nikipitia rejection. Mwingine anasema yes. Kuna mtu wetu amekuwa akipitia hizo shida zote. Anauliza sasa mimi nimekuwa nikipitia hizi rejection na hii spirit of stagnation. Na stahili kufanya nini? Mm. Cha muhimu ni kuelewa kwamba kuna shida. Utajua mm-hmm. ukweli ukweli utakuweka huru. Mm-hmm. Usije ukaignore that that which will always kill you. Vitu kuna God has given us power to say no and to say yes. Na ndio maana we have the servants of God that we can speak on the behalf of Jesus. You can speak on the behalf of Jesus. Mama huyu aliyekuwa na madeni. Ana stagnant kwa maisha yake yote na watoto wake wangechukuliwa mateka. Na aliena kwa mtumishi wa mtumishi wa mama wa madeni vitu vingine ni za kupelekea mchungaji na kuwekelewa mikono kama the power of blessings. Kama kwenye mliambiwa mta kama kwenye mlifungiwa mkaambiwa mtakaa hapa sasa kuna mtu wa kukuja kukutoa mtu wa kuja kukutoa kuomba sana na kuamini Mungu that's why maana hakuna dawa hakuna dawa ya rejection na hakuna dawa ya stagnation hakuna hiyo hakuna anga dawa hakuna anga vaccine kama hiyo dawa tu dawa ni Yesu na niwaambie tena watu ambao mko diaspora muombe you are children so much drugs zime stagnate destiny zao drugs wanarara kwa mtu. Zee wameuza mjamba, wamepreka yote kwa pomu. Jamii mzima wa gari, wamefanya hii. Sasa unaona, because of that, those addictions, it has made many people to have a stagnant life. Na vitu zingine, sasa tukirudis kuingine atakuja ni wafundishe, uh, uh, ni wafundishe power, power behind alcohol. Ngu, power behind alcohol. Ulevi inafanyanga nini? Kwa nini ulevi ikiingia itokangi? Kwa nini ulevi ikiingia kwa jamii haitokangi? There is power behind it. Aya, thank you very much. Kuna mtu anasema anajua mtu alikuwa naguza vitu zinaharibika. Akipewa Nissan mpya, anapewa Nissan ikiwa mpya inaharibika. Akioa bibi anakufa ama anapotea, eh? Sasa hii spirit ya rejection imefika mpaka hapo. Yaani kama mimi niseme sina spirit ya rejection na niajiri mtu ambaye ako na hiyo spirit ya rejection atakuja kuniharibia mali ama kuna jinsi mimi naweza jikinga niseme okay uh, mimi ni, mimi sina spirit ya rejection uh, siwezi ni affectiwa na ule mtu ambaye ako na hiyo spirit ya rejection uh-huh. sasa spirit ya rejection ndio maana Mungu alimwambia Musa wana wa Israeli wao wane wenyewe kwa wenyewe maana kuna watu mtaingiana nao wako na maroza kwao. Kuna mtu kuna watu hata mimi najua akishika gari wacha hata trucks. Akipewa truck mpya mtu itakosa accident ta inok engine. Ama yaribika nani a new truck. 
Hiyo track ikia mwisho apewe tena inakufa. Mwingine akipewa inaendelea. Mtu uki, kuna fundi ukimpatia kuna, kuna fundi ukimpatia kazi mafundi wa watu wanatoroka. Kuna mtu utaoa, kuna mtu utaoa alete nukse kwako. Ndio unakumba anything hata mfanyi kazi wote anapiga kwako. Lazima mkubaliane na roho yake. Amebeba roho ya. Hizi roho zinakaanga ndani. Maandiko inasema wakati Yakobo alienda kwa Laban, Laban hakuwa tajiri. Lakini when Jacob went to Laban's house, Yakob Laban akaanza kutajirika. Paka Laban akamwambia Jacob, nimejua nimetajirika kwa sababu ya Mungu wako. The same way kuna watu wamebeba roho ya nukse na kuna watu wamebeba roho ya baraka. Kuna mtu atakuombea mambo yaribike. Kuna mtu atakuombea mambo yawe mazuri. Kwa hivyo watu wakija kwako people are agent of change. Hata kuna mchana wa kazi ukimulete, akiguza TV itachomeka. Akiguza TV itachomeka. Mchana wa kazi utamulete, hata atashika dhamu zote zitavunjika. Lakini ukiwa strong in the spirit, ukiwa wewe ni poso nakuta hakuna kitu kizuri kama kuomba pamoja kama familia kuomba pamoja kama familia maana hizo vitu ziko kuna mwingine akipata mshana ikifikia ni harusi anamuacha kama mwingine aliachwa na wasichana tatu tatu wasichana nne wote wanamuacha bila sababu huyo ako na rejection ya marriage rejection ya marriage na sio kwamba anapiga bibi na sio kwamba ni violent lakini nasikia tu mtu amechoka naye ameenda that's the spirit of rejection towards marriage and now when this wakati rejection imekuwa kubwa sana ndani yako paka watu wameanza kuiona unajua kuna venye unafanyi kiwango na vitu paka watu wanakuwa witness now it becomes an altar of rejection madhabahu ya rejection maana sasa paka watu wanaiona paka watu wanaiona paka watu wanaiona inakuwa sasa is not a, a rejection inakuwa ni madhabahu ya rejection na jina ma, madhabahu madhabahu ni utawala na madhabahu ni kuvunjwa kuwa inavunjwa rejection inakaanga ndani ya mtu kama vile baraka huwa inakaa ndani ya mtu utajua mtu ako na rejection na utajua mtu ako na baraka kuna mtu anakataliwa na masomo unafanya mitihani unaanguka unafanya unaanguka unafanya unaanguka unafanya unaanguka already wewe uko na rejection na kukataliwa na masomo hawezi kakuwa watu wote wamefanya kama mwingine amefanya amefanya course ya nursing ameanguka mara saba sasa that's already a rejection that the career is rejecting you. The career is reject and when the career rejects you poverty is knocking on your door. Maana kunanga mtu mzembe huwa anatajirika. Yap. Aya <laughs> thank you very much. Hapa hapo umetaja kwa mtu ame ati anafanya nursing anaanguka mtihani kuna mtu hapa amenichekesha sana. Anasema yeye amejaribu akiwa Kenya alikuwa anaendesha gari lakini wakati alifika hapa Marekani yeah. amefanya driving course amejaribu yeah. kuenda kupewa driving license uh, now it is the yeah. time anaanguka kile time akifika <laughs> akifika kwa barabara <laughs> yani anakuwa yani na sijui anaogopa mzungu ama namna gani now hiyo uh, sio uoga hiyo si uoga hiyo sio uoga. Hiyo ni je, kama huyu mwenye anaenda huyu mwenye anafanya mtihani wa nursing mara saba anaanguka. Mhm. Yeye sio uoga, ako determined. Huyu mwenye ametafuta bibu wanne wakimuacha, kila msichana anamuacha. Ako determined to become a husband to somebody, lakini mm-hmm. namuacha. Mm-hmm. So nimesema rejection inakaanga ndani ya mtu. Mm-hmm. Na tunaijuanga na pia mtu anajijuanga hii kawaida kwa sababu mbona mbona why only you mm-hmm. why only you why you na utakuta maybe kuna watu wazee kumuliko walipita driving na siku moja yes maybe more young than the older person na yeye amefanya mara tanda ni yake na ni poso unaanga rejection watu walio na roho ya rejection wanaotanga wakikimbizwa wanaota wanakimbizwa kukimbizwa 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 na, na na wengine wanaota kama wanaanguka kwa shimo maana already something is chasing you 
something is just fighting you. So rejection, it is something that ni kitu ambacho tunafayo kudeal nayo, ata kwa biashara. Kwa, ni kama wewe JD, kuna watu mejua wamekuja Amerika wakaanza kazi ndogo ndogo, na sasa wako na kazi zao. Na kuna watu wamekaa huko miaka na miaka, nothing is moving. Na sio kwamba ni wazembe, wakienda, wakisema ni kupanda juu, wanajipata wako chini. The spirit of rejection inafanyanga kazi na backwardness. Roho wa hoho shokia dhuza, roho ya kukurudisha nyuma, roho ya nyuma. Kwa sababu, hawataki waende mbele. Nikasema, hata kuna, uh, da, e, kama Daudi ya risema, baba yangu na mama yangu wakiniacha. Kuna watu hata wamekua rejected na wazazi wao. Kabisa, 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 kabisa. Na kuna pia wazazi wamerijua na watoto wao. No one is immune to rejection. No one, in, to, no one is immune to rejection. But we can deal with it. Wow. Aya, thank you very much mchungaji. Najua sasa kuna mtu anajiuliza sasa kama ni hiyo mambo yote sasa atajitoa namna gani na umetueleza vile. So kuna mtu anasema niko na mambo personal ningetaka tuongee na wewe mchungaji because sasa ye ako na bibi wa nne, fourth wife. Hihi. Huyo ni ndume. Huyo ni ndume. Anasema ako na fourth wife, ma, ma, anasema wa kwanza alienda na watoto watatu. Wa pili yeye hakupata mtoto lakini watatu na wanne mwenye sasa wako na yeye saizi anasema ini kama inaelekea kuisha. So ye ana feel like ako sasa hiyo kwa hiyo class ya rejection because anasema anaj, amejaribu kila kitu. It's like a ni family thing. Ni family thing kwa wakifika miaka fulani lazima kila mtu atupe bibi yake. Acha nikwambie JD hata kuna watu ambao wako na rejection Unatengeneza bibi bibi anakuwa mrembo unanyang'anywa bibi na mwanaume mwingine. Mm-hmm. Unanyang'anywa bibi. Bibi anatoka kwako na watoto wawili watoto naolewa tena. Sasa hata huyu waini ataenda. Huyu waini ataenda kwa sababu ni kama anajua iko kwao. Tumesema utajua ukweli ukweli utakuweka huru. Ukweli uta huru. Na the word rejection ni kukataliwa. Rejection inakuja kukataliwa unakatali una wangu paka na pesa rejection ikikuja kukataliwa inaletanga kuacho unaacho na bibi unaacho na bwana unaacho na watoto unaacho na marafiki unaacho na magari wewe una kazi yako tu ni kuacho 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 ukiandika watu kwa kazi wanakuacha kwa nini umetoka kazi huko nilisikia sitaki kufanya huko kazi una roya kuacho kuacho tu sasa kama iko kwenu Lazima udil nayo maana hii ni madhabahu na wacha ni vitu zingine mna ignore hizo zinakuja zina zinakuja zinakatalia maisha yetu ni kama mm-hmm. kwamba kuna watu ndani yao wa afya imewakata afya hata afya inakatanga mtu sio macho macho si mazuri sio meno umeweko meno yote ya umeweko meno yote ya waya mazo makole hii yani meno yo, meno yote inatingika sio nywele kipara imekuja mapema Sio sio miguu umeko chuma. Sio tumbo uko na mara ya plastic. Wewe kazi, kazi ya unaacho na afya yako. Unaacho, 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 unaacho. Yaani rejection. Na ukumbuke ya kwamba spirit spirit is stronger than the body. Spirit is stronger than the body. Unasema kama sasa kuna mwingine kazi yake anatafutanga tu asichana wazuri, anawasomesha, anawasomesha, anataka relationship Mwishana aki mwanyoka hivyo, anamuacha, anena anawalewa kuingine. Hmm. Mwingine akatoa watu kathaka wapereka kwa Amerika. Wapi, waro gama aga kuherera. Kwani we umekua basi, wewe siyo basi ati kazi yako tu ni kubebanga watu, unabaki, unabaki ukiwa empty. Hmm? Unajua hiyo ndiyo inakuanga roho ya basi. Roho hmm. ya basi inabebanga kwa kila stage. Ikifika mwisho inabaki empty, tena inarudi. Jioni inapa empty, asubui unayendea empty. Your life is not an empty object. Hapana hiyo tumekataa na rejection ndio inasababisha. Na tena rejection in attracting spirit of growing older. Eh kuchapa maisha mapema. Unapata mtu wa miaka 30 anakaa ni kama ako 59. Mm. Paka mtu anakataliwa na maji, unakunywa maji na kuharibikia. Unakula nyama na kwa yani hakuna kitu nakuranga, unakanga tu hivyo. Paka unakuta wengine makucha inatoka. 
Hey, imagine, hebu imagine umekatiliwa na afya to that point. Umekatiliwa na afya to that point. Wengine zao zimekatiliwa na watoto. Ndiye maana mm-hmm. wa mama tasa huwa tunawaombea, tunaambia tuna, tunaongea na tumbo, naambia nyinyi wa mama ambao mna watoto. Sia leo hii tumbo haitakataa watoto. Maana miscarriage, the word miscarriage ni ya kwamba mtoto aliingia lakini tumbo haikuwa na uwezo wa kubeba huo mtoto. Sasa mtoto anatoka kama miscarriage. Hiyo bado ni rejection of your ni, ni rejections of your postility. Wow. Oh. Haya. I think sasa ile mahali tutafika mtindo ya kukupa nafasi hiyo. Na ingine rejection well, ni kushinda ukizungushwa mahali pa pamoja. Mm. Makaratasi yako ipatikanangi. Makaratasi yako ipatikanangi. Makaratasi haipatikani. Haipatikani una apply. Weka kazi yako na shinanga kwa imu. Wow. Haya, yeah. ningetaka ningetaka nikupe nafasi mchungaji ndio ufanye maombi na ndio kama kuna mtu kama huyo amekuwa hivyo. Unajua kuna watu unasikia miaka tano mtu amekuwa akifuatilia mambo ya ya hizo makaratasi inafika wengine walikuja nyuma yake wameitwa wameenda wamepata green card mwingine amekuwa kitafuta mwanaume hawakumuoa hapati wengine wanakuja juzi wanapata wanaoleka so ningekupa nafasi hiyo alafu pia ukimalizia nimeweka namba yako pale labda kuna mtu angetaka kukufikia ndio muweze kuwasiliana na yeye ndio muombe ile maombi ya pasta na wewe sasa ama ye na wewe pasta uh, nikupe hiyo nafasi ndio utuombe na pia ukanso hiyo mipango yote ya kudharauliwa na ya kuachwa karibu sana Aya, niko kwako sasa aposto. Okay. Asante sana watazamaji wetu na wa partners za Cross the Globe na wale umeingia katika ibada ya jioni ya leo na asubuhi ya leo huku pande wa diaspora. Kile anataka ni kuambia kwamba mambo yako lakini Mungu yuko. Sasa hiyo ndio namba yangu kama uko na mtu hapo ana rejection na kuanga upande wa Rungai. Rungai mahali panajita Acacia. Hapo ndiyo na kuanga na ombea watu siku ya Wednesday na siku ya Sunday. Na unaweza kuwasiliana na mimi hapo na pia kama uko na hizo madhabahu za rejection kukataliwa kutopata watoto, kuota ndoto mbaya, ndoa zinavunjika, kunyang'anywa mali, watoto kuwa walevi, kansa, uko na mahitaji yote 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 ulie nayo kwa Mungu yote inawezekana. Na kuanzia leo naamini ya kwamba Mungu atakubadilisha hautakataliwa hakuna hautakaa mahali pamoja sasa na chile kile tangu speed anointing wale walio kuacha utakimbia mbele yao na utawapata hautasaulika you are having a good news nimesema leo ni disconnection to connection kuna kute, na kutenganisha na kitu fulani na kuunganisha na baraka sasa na kuunganisha na afya yako na kuunganisha na favor na kuunganisha na uponyaji na kuunganisha the next level na kuunganisha na kile ambacho unataka baba katika jisu na kushukuru kwa sababu ya watazamaji wetu asani kwa sababu ya KDM kwa sababu it is the pillar of the community na ndio maana tumekuja kudila na roho ya rejection na kama hali pamoja tumekataa bwana katika maisha ya wazazi wetu na watoto wetu wale walianza kujenga nyumba hazijawaiisha that stagnation is over in the mighty name of Jesus wale ambao waliapply makaratasi na wajawai pata wamekaa mahali pamoja kwa muda mrefu Oh God we cancel that spirit in the mighty name of Jesus na sasa Mungu natangaza instead of rejection let there be favor i declare the garment of rejection the garment of rejection it is defeated in the mighty name of Jesus wale ambao ni wagonjwa natangaza uponyaji wale ambao wako chini natangaza kuinuliwa wale ambao wamenyang'anywa mali natangaza restoration in the mighty name of Jesus anzeni kupokea baraka ya kile mnataka pokea amani ya Kristo receive the peace of God receive the peace of God that marriage will not die that business will not die that career will not die in the mighty name of Jesus 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 i release the grace of God and the grace to move forward and now it is in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen and amen kwa hivyo Mungu awabariki hizo ndizo namba zangu ukipiga utanipata tumeni watu ambao wako na mahitaji kutoka Kenya mahitaji ya maombi wale mko diaspora wale mko gafi Europe everywhere ukipiga tu tutaongea na wewe na tutaomba 
na tukiomba maana kuna nguvu kwa wale waombao we pray but god answers prayer amen and amen Thank you very much Apostle God bless you for your time. Tunashukuru sana Mungu akulinde na akubariki sana. I hope next time atutaanguka hivyo tumeanguka but hiyo program imekuwa ikipigwa sana. But finally we have managed to kuimaliza. So kama unataka kuongea na Apostle 0721 And of course wale ambao wametupoteza kule upande wa YouTube utatupata sasa in full term yote tukiwa tumemaliza na tume, tutakuwa umepata kila kitu yote. So thank you God bless you. Naitwa Jeremy Damaris. Asante sana. Asante sana mchungaji. Ukirime go kuumia. God bless you. Aya, thank you very very Mimi ni mwekaji na Dhahafu. Kwa nini ka choose Dhahafu among all other companies? Juu Dhahafu iko na inaangalia ina mkulima mdogo kama mimi. Unajua mimi sio mtu atakayo na pesa. Lakini hata hiyo pesa kidogo niko nayo, dhafu inanifanya nijisikie hata mimi hata mimi nitajiri. E, hata leo ni siku nachukua title, nasikia raha sana. Najua sasa kuna pali sasa nitakuwa nikiita kwangu. Mwenje ajarunua shamba, ai sasa ni wakati wa kuamka. Hakuna haja tuendelee tu na kulala atakukaa tu na robi. Wachana hiyo nyumba kukoboa. Enda hata kama utajaga kako kama bati. Ni better off kuliko hiyo kukoboa ya wenyewe. Ikana, nufaikana, nufaikana.